We have a castor and moringa infused with rosemary leaves, eyelash growth serum. Rosemary also induces hair growth, and this is the oil that it creates right here. I had no idea, that's amazing. Hi, I'm Joanna, and I am heading to test out moringa and castor oils. Rumor has it that these two oils have been used since ancient Egyptian times for flawless skin and overall topical health care. So I'm going to head over to Papa Wozier, which is a local organic producer of these oils, and see if the rumors are true. Hi, I'm Joanna. Hi, Joanna. I'm Rubens. Welcome to Papa Rose's farmhouse. Let's go make some oils. Can't wait. Papa Rose Farms is a 50-acre farm in Haiti where we grow castor beans and moringa seeds to be pressed here in the States. Usually the person making the oil is not the person growing the oil. So we are the farmers. We are the people putting our hands in the soil. So this is Barry, who's in charge of pressing our oil. Barry is making castor oil today, so Barry will feed the machine. Um, there's a screw inside that essentially pushes the seeds into our crush plate. The crush plate now forces the organic matter out, which is essentially the shells of the seeds. And then we collect this beautiful, rich oil here that we then allow to rest for about six to eight months. And the reason why we let it rest for that long Number one, anything good should take a long time to make. But number two, we allow the sediment to just come down naturally rather than adding any solvents that would speed up the cleaning process. It's literally from the seed to the bottle. 100% pure, natural, untouched castor oil. What is castor oil? Yep, castor oil is a great anti-inflammatory oil, anti-fungal, really helps uh, with rough skin conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, even the balls of your feet. These are the two beans right here that we grow. And if you pop a seed open, you'll see the high oil content oh, wow. of each seed. And that's essentially the oil that we are creating here. Oh, this is so cool. It has, it has the texture of butter. Yeah. yeah. I would love to see the finished products that you make. Let's go ahead. Hey, I see you found our soaps. I did. I did. Awesome. This awesome. is lovely. Also, it smells amazing. What is it? How did you make this one? Well, this is our castor base bar that's made with vetiver oil. So you're getting that really nice fragrant vetiver oil. Yes. This is lovely. This is our 100% pure moringa oil. Mm. The texture on this is really nice. It's it's very light. It is. It absorbs really well, so it could be used as a anti-aging uh, facial moisturizer. It could be used as a pre-makeup primer because it's so light. You can still get that layer of protection while also being able to apply your makeup on it. I think a lot of people think that all oils are essential oil. Do you treat castor and moringa oil as the same, or are they totally different? That's a great question. They are different, and the general difference is castor and moringa are carrier oils, which means you would use them as a base to make products such as soaps, lotions, candles, whereas the essential oils are used to bring in the scent. Treat yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Anytime, we'll see you very soon. Awesome. I had no idea that Moringa and castor oil had such amazing properties, regenerative, restorative properties for your skin. I personally am really excited to use the Moringa oil as possibly a new permanent part of my skincare regimen. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Skincare.